Tonka's trying to take a nap. He's such a good boy. I'm going to read him a story to help get him back to sleep. It's The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. I'm going to move you guys up here so you can see my pictures and you can see me turn the pages. We're going to stay calm and we're going to stay quiet and we're going to see if we can get Tonka back to sleep. He's down here. Let's see if this works. You going to help me, class? Yeah? Practice your quiet voice. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. The artwork in here, guys, is so phenomenal. I can't wait to share this one with you. Have you read it before? You're gonna hear it again today. He dedicated this book to his sister, Krista. And there's a happy little sun right there. I like happy little sunshines. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Do you see the little egg? It's the same color as the moon. Where's the egg? There it is, on the leaf. Good job. We have lots of cool things to look at here. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. There's that sunshine again and here is the very tiny, very hungry caterpillar. What do you think he wants to find? If he's hungry, He's probably looking for food. You're right. Let's see if he finds some food. He started to look for some food. Were you right? Kiss your brain if so. Boom. On Monday, he ate through one apple. He was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. He's crawling out of the plum. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five, five oranges, but he was still hungry. Count them. One, two, three, four, five oranges. <sighs> you ready? Are you ready? Saturday was a big day for him. Here we go. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day, was Sunday again. 
the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon. Can you say that word? Cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and here he is as the big, that caterpillar. And this is his cocoon. Cocoon looks like this. When he came out of the cocoon, he was a beautiful butterfly. And thanks for reading with me today, guys. See you next time. Oh, 